Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this pandemic situation. So in today's video, we'll talk about the difference between the CBS and the APS. Do watch this video till the end to find out which one of them is the best. But before proceeding, if you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe our channel and press that bell icon right next to it so that you don't miss out on any update. So I have seen a lot of people who you know tend to overlook the basic feature while buying a new bike or new car that is the braking system which is available in in their vehicle and also I have received a lot of questions from you guys uh, asking about CBS ABS and the difference which one is better so without any further ado let's start this video starting with the drum brakes that is the most basic break available and it has been you know existing since the vehicle industry has emerged drum brakes are the conventional braking system which you can find in most of the uh, cars or bikes and it works when you press the pedal or you know pull the lever of the brake uh, the shoes inside the drum it expands and rub against the inner lining of the drums due to the rubbing of the shoes it creates friction and friction eventually reduces the speed of the vehicle and comes to a halt it's pretty simple right but during an emergency situation like where you hit the brakes hard then these kind of brake won't stop your vehicle effectively this happens because when you brake hard the overall weight of your vehicle comes on the front wheel due to which the uh, the inner lining of the drums get heated up fast and reduces the overall friction uh, the efficiency of the brake are reduced and you end up you know covering a bit more distance before stopping and in fact during rainy season when water gets inside the drum brakes it further reduces the friction between the brake pads and the uh, inner lining which again can be dangerous and fatal you must have also experienced the same problems with vehicles having drum brakes right so to overcome all these issues disc brakes were introduced in the market which is more effective and provides a powerful braking than the drum brakes it uses calipers which push the brake pads against the disc mounted on the wheel which stops a vehicle at a much less distance than the drum brakes the heat generated during this process gets dissipates very fast as compared to the drum brakes it maintains the overall efficiency of the braking in any condition in fact during rainy seasons it doesn't affect that braking power however when you suddenly apply brakes or you know hit the brakes hard what happens is the disc brake gets locked up and you might end up skidding or losing out control from your vehicle to avoid this situation while you are doing hard braking the abs were in now we'll see what ABS is and how does it work. ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System or you can call it Anti-Skid Braking System. So ABS ensures that your wheel doesn't lock up when you suddenly apply brakes on higher speeds. In addition to that, it also you know maintain the traction on the road and in fact you can even steer your vehicle away from the obstacle while braking. Now let's see how the ABS actually works. So ABS has mainly four components in it. The first one is the speed sensors. Second is the ECU, which is also called the electronic control unit. The third one is valves and the fourth one is hydraulic controllers. So what ECU does is it continuously monitors the speed sensor. So when you apply brake, just before locking up of the wheel, the ECU senses there is a sudden deacceleration. So it then actuates the valve and the hydraulic controller to release some pressure from the brake pads so that the wheels doesn't lock up due to this there is a fair amount of increase in the speed which is then sensed by the ECU and again it actuates the valves and the hydraulic controller to increase the pressure this time this cycle is continued till the vehicle comes to a halt this pulsating of increase and decrease of pressure of brake pads on the disc brake prevents the locking up of the wheel and gives you a better control over the vehicle and in fact you can steer the vehicle wherever you want to while you are braking so nowadays you must have seen bikes with single channel abs or dual channel abs so what are these so these are nothing but the types of abs available in the bikes so in single channel abs which is also called the super motor abs only the front wheel is assisted by the abs but it can come with uh, one speed sensor or two speed sensor so bikes like suzuki jixxer 
एस एफ टू फिफ्टी और हीरो एक्सट्रीम टू हंड्रेड सो दीज आर बाइक्स विच कम विद सिंगल चैनल लेबर्स विथ वन स्पीड सेंसर वेर एज बाइक्स लाइक पल्सर आर एस टू हंड्रेड इट कम्स विद सिंगल चैनल लेबर्स विथ टू स्पीड सेंसर so coming to the dual channel abs in dual channel abs both the wheels that is the front and the rear wheel is assisted by the abs and this is better compared to the single channel abs because it provides better braking distribution on both the wheels and you know provides better stability than the single channel abs bikes like domina 400 tvs apache rtr 200 or rr310 and many more bikes does come with uh, dual channel abs nowadays having single channel abs or dual channel abs completely depend on manufacturer to manufacturer since abs has been in the market for quite of some time now there has been some advancements in the abs as well so you must have heard about cornering abs the in cornering abs it provides a better stability and braking uh, power while you are cornering and in cornering abs there is a third variable that is it calculates your lean angle also with your uh, speed of the wheels thus it provides a better stability and uh, you know confidence while you are cornering uh, you happen to brake in some uh, emergency condition so cornering abs will handle it perfectly also you will find bikes with rlp that is rear wheel lift off protection so what it does is it prevents your rear wheel from lifting off from the ground while you're braking and you will find this rlp feature in bikes like uh, tvs apache rtr 200 or rr 310 or uh, pulsar 220f and many other bikes as well in fact in cars you find abs with ebd where ebd is electronic brake distribution which is nothing but the extension of the abs uh, so what it does it this system checks the speed the acceleration the acceleration of each of the wheel independently and estimates the load on each of the wheel and accordingly distribute the braking force it provides a fair amount of greater stability than the car having just abs now let's talk about the cbs cbs is known as the combined braking system or it is also called as link braking system honda has a patent of this cbs which they rather call it a combi brake system which you can find in all their scooters and bikes and which is another you know a slight advancement from the independent braking system in this what happens is only one lever controls both the brakes that is your front brake and the rear brake at the same time so what actually happens in cbs is when you pull your brake lever the equalizer ensures that equal amount of pressure is distributed on the front and the rear brake so due to this equal amount of pressure being applied on both the wheels uh, the braking happens in a much controlled way and it also provides a great stability than the uh, independent braking system however the cbs does have some limitations like uh, it will not work on wet road and might end up locking up wheel when you are you know trying to brake hard on high speed unlike in abs so this brings us to the section wherein we'll conclude that which braking system is the best so undoubtedly abs wins the title it is the best available braking system in the market right now because it prevents the locking up of the wheel it provides greater stability greater control over the vehicle so all these advantages makes the abs the most preferred braking system in any of the vehicle however cbs is also good enough for small bikes or bikes having cc less than 180 and if you don't prefer going on high speeds so cbs is also a good option to choose from so usually nowadays you see in scooters in fact in bikes as well so whenever you are buying a new bike or a car always go for the abs variant if it is available it hardly cost uh, 10000 or 15000 more than the uh, non abs variant but considering the safety it provides you which is really priceless so I would suggest that you always go for the ABS variant as it is said safety first is safety always so with that said it's time to wrap up this video i hope you did like this video if you have any questions or any queries do post it in the comment section below we'll try to answer all of them or else you can contact us on instagram twitter or facebook and do subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss out on such interesting videos from us and do share this video with your family and friends until next video stay at home and stay safe and let's fight together from this pandemic situation thank you for watching